All right, let's go ahead and start with Nmap. And what we're going to do is we're going to run it in uh, TCP SYN Stealth. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to do a lowercase s, uppercase s. We're going to provide the O option, which does fingerprint TCP IP fingerprinting. And then we're going to give it the port number, 1 through 65,535. We're going to put it out in verbose mode, and let's give it an IP address to scan. It's giving us the open ports. This might take a second to scan. Great. Now as you saw here, we had one IP address scanned. And you can see all of the open ports that we have and the services that are running on that machine. You can see here it actually has Nessus on it as well. QuickBooks looks like, something like that. So anyhow, what we have is some good info to start with anyhow. So what we're going to do though is we're going to run kind of the same test again, but this time we're going to output it to a file so we, so we can then use it uh, with a map. So what we're going to do now is kind of do the same thing in a sense and export it out to an XML file. So I'm going to put in uh, nmap. We're going to give it the IP. We're going to also put it in the minus this upper with a operating system detection. And we're also going to then run it into a nmap result. We're going to call it mile2 uh, results dot nmap. We're also going to output it as a XML file. And we're also going to list the port numbers. We're going to list them from 1 to 65,535. That would cover the whole range with a minus V for verbose. And here we go. You see here it started out. We're discovering some open ports, which is great. Awesome. Now you see here we have one host that we had up and running. And we have a few of the ports available. You can see here, as well as some of the services that it identified. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to bring it into a map so you see how a map looks and see how that runs. So what we're going to do is just use a map. Uh, if you don't know how to use it, let's just type in a map minus man, which will give you the manual pages for this. Now what we're going to try to attempt to do here is we're going to run a map under Let's see what we're going to run it under. Here we go. Render under I, Nmap Machine Readable Output. There we go. We're going to utilize that. And we're then going to output it into a file to make it then readable. Well, so let's go ahead and run that in. And here we go. We're going to locate the mile 2 results. Dot nmap. We're going to also output that to mile 2 results. Dot amap. Awesome. And here we go. We're getting some good results. Very nice. It's not quite done yet. Now you could then go in and do a full analysis and so forth of the results. Now another thing we can utilize though with utilizing uh, a map as an output is we can utilize the Open Protocol Resource Project. And this allows us to get some additional service information 
per port. And then you can search for information in regards to port numbers, for instance.